you're in the market for a new home, there are some things that you need to know before you sign on that dotted line. Joining us now in this sponsored interview is Shelby Montgomery from First Community Bank to share more. Now this was me not too long ago and it was one of the most stressful things I have ever done. And so I'm so glad you're here because you have some advice and I want you to kind of begin. Tell us where we're at in the housing market. Is it possible to buy a house right now? Yes. Well, any real estate professional right now is going to tell you it is still possible. <laughs> There's a lot of tools and resources out there to help you. Uh, it's definitely not like it was four to five years ago. You know, everyone knows how crazy prices went up. Rates were at a crazy all-time low, so everything just kind of got really crazy. But right now, there's so many tools out there to help you succeed, like down payment assistance programs, um, you know, different things to help you build your credit, uh, things to, you know, there's so many resources and partners to help you out there. So in my opinion, yes, I do think it's still possible. Uh, you just have to have the right people on your team to help you succeed. So Shelby, what should people do if they're, you know, maybe at this stage right now, they can't get a house. Should they, should they come in and kind of, do you all have like a program that you can help them know like, here's how to build your credit or here's how much money you should be saving? We do. Yes. So I love to meet with first time home buyers. Even if you're, you know, if you're a year out or five years out, if you don't know what it takes to buy a home or, you know, the qualifications, it's really important to meet with somebody. Uh, I think that there's a lot of opinions out there. Mortgage media does not help. <laughs> um, I think it just blows it out of proportion, you know, talking about how hard and impossible it is. But when you sit down with a professional and talk about your options and your scenario specifically, it is possible. And I think that a lot of people come to realize that and they, you know, they're thankful that they met with somebody and we could get them on a plan. We could talk about their credit score. A lot of people don't know that, you know, we pull scores from three different credit bureaus and take the mid score. So, you know, credit bureaus take the credit score, they, they weigh it differently. And um, so I think that that's important to know as well. But I can tell you how much you can afford with different programs, but ultimately you need to know what your budget is. So I think that's a really important thing we talk about too is what your budget is. All th good things to consider and you're there to help walk us through every step of the way. What kind of programs are available to first time home buyers in specific? There are a lot of times are loans that they can go through and things that definitely can make this feel a little less stressful. Yes, so Utah Housing has a great down payment assistance program. A lot of first time home buyers right now are doing FHA loans. Uh, because of the debt to income ratio, you can go up to 55%. Uh, we usually recommend you staying about 36 to 40 percent for your uh, debt to income ratio but depending on the circumstance and you know income budget wise you know there's always options that we can look at so FHA is actually getting more and more popular right now for first-time home buyers and again with that program you were talking about you would be able to guide people for instance if they want to change careers there is a, a guideline of how long they need to be employed within yes. does it have to be just a specific place or can it be in the field so if it's in the same field, then you can do that change for sure. Usually if you are self-employed or you have bonus or commission, uh, we do have to take a two-year history of that. Otherwise it gets kind of rocky and we end up taking a really low amount for your income. But those are all really good questions to ask because you may know where your future is going, but me as a loan officer, I'm not sure what your plans are. So it's good to yeah. communicate and have that pathway if you want to own a home someday. What are some important things to consider when it comes to buying your first home? There are so many options. You can buy a townhome, there are single family options. And so what way do you kind of lead people when they are trying to make that decision? Yeah, I always ask, what is important to you? What is your end goal? And right now your first home may not be your dream home and that's okay. But getting into the market, I think we've all seen firsthand how much equity you can get in a certain amount of time. And unfortunately, house prices really aren't coming down and there's no indication that they will. The demand is still far too needed for home prices to come down right now. So I think if you can get in and get this investment, then you're gonna see equity build and you can eventually you know, sell that home and roll it into your next home uh, or even become an investor and start getting rental properties and build wealth for yourself. What's so. your advice to people that are maybe thinking, I wanna wait, I wanna wait and see what the market does? I think that's all your opinion and if you've talked with somebody and you have a really good ground understanding of what the market is doing and you want to do that for your own personal budget financial investment reasons, then I think that that is okay. And I'm not going to recommend to everyone that it's the right time for them. 
Mm -hmm. So I think that's, you know, you just have to have a good conversation and see what's going to be the best for you. somebody mm -hmm. to talk with. I well, and that. while it can be so stressful, it's always going to be stressful. And so you are here to help make it a little less stressful. First Community Bank, all that information on your screen. Thank you for those resources. We can all take a little bit of a breath knowing that you're here for us. <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you to First Community Bank for this sponsored interview.